house in northeast Harris County that court documents contend Arian Jackson housed as many as a dozen women, some of them underage, for the purposes of selling them for sex. One of the girls told investigators they would work this portion of Bissonette under orders to earn $1,000 a day. Investigators also found a text message from that girl, just 14, to another alleged trafficker in which she complained about her relationship with Jackson. Quote, I was his first and his down since day one girl, she wrote. I just don't understand why he treats me the way he does because I know he loves me. That man will always love me because we've been lovers before. But it's just different now that there's so many girls. Jackson is a fledgling rapper with accounts on the website SoundCloud and a modest following on Instagram. We contacted a number he posted for bookings, and a man called back claiming to work with Jackson musically. He denied the charges and said whoever claimed that was a jealous woman who wanted the popular Jackson for herself. Jackson has a criminal history. We even found the FBI tweeted his photograph in 2017, searching for him as an alleged gang member. Now he's behind bars, facing a charge of aggravated promotion of prostitution. Major for sex has been sentenced to nearly 30 years in prison. Fox 26's Domily Keith is live at the federal courthouse where the sentencing hearing just wrapped up. Domily. Yeah, Arian Jackson previously pleaded guilty to sex trafficking minors with force, fraud, or coercion. And today, a federal judge sentenced the 24-year-old to 27 years in prison. Now, Jackson was a local rapper who investigators say kept 12 girls and women in a house here in Houston, and they say he trafficked them for sex. Now, according to the judge, Jackson gave the ladies drugs and used threats and beatings to force them to comply with him. Now, one of Jackson's victims, according to court records, was 15-year-old Kristen Galvan. She went missing from her home in spring back in January of 2020, and her loved ones have been searching for her ever since. She still hasn't been found. Now, Galvan's mom was here today for Jackson's sentencing, where a judge could have sentenced him from 30 years to life in prison, but the judge chose to put Jackson behind bars for 27 years. I don't think it's enough. It was less than the minimum, and um, they, they gave them less than the minimum. I, it's, people like this are not allowed in our community, Houston, and it uh, really should have been life because Kristen's still missing. I thank God for answering my prayers and not giving my son life and giving him an opportunity to, you know, redeem himself, come home and, and get, a, get another chance at, at life as a normal citizen. So why hasn't Arian Jackson lived life as a normal citizen? Well, I'll tell you what came out in court today and also uh, what Jackson had to say for himself today in court. That's coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. And Jackson's mother is also charged with sex trafficking. She is scheduled to begin her trial tomorrow. Reporting live in downtown Houston, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 20. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We're back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and first and foremost, I want to send prayers to the mother and the entire family of the missing teenager to have it your child, your seed, somebody you brought into this world, and you haven't talked to them since 2020 having to go through this legal process and hearing these details and not knowing their current status and condition, most definitely prayers up to them. Now, he and the father and the family said they don't know where she's at either, so that's even more deeper for her, man. Most definitely prayers up to them. And I'm going to have a link in the description from Fox and ABC 13 out of Houston, and I'm going to get a little bit into the write-up in just a second. But this hit the news because he was a rapper out here in the city, most definitely. I remember seeing him on YouTube, dropping videos, Corleone, seeing him making the blogs out here. Most definitely was pressing his line as a rapper at the time. Then I end up seeing him making the news and they were saying he wanted. Then I seen when he got arrested, as y'all seen in the beginning, in the early, in the first part of the video. And then now he's actually being found guilty. And I'm going to tell you like this, bro. The pimp and the sex trafficking thing, we've seen how they transition that. But once you go down to messing with kids in this situation, you've earned that sex trafficking charge, whether you like it or not. And that's the line they're going to press for you. You have to think for yourself as, hey, 
What if this was my brother? What if this was my sister? Not my brother, my sister that I took, that somebody took advantage of at this age. No matter if it's voluntary, or involuntary, you going to look like that demon ain't going to paint you out to be in the courtroom. You got to know better. Ain't no excuses for you going out here playing with kids. Just like his father going to say in the write-up, y'all going to see that. Bro, 15 years old, 14 years old, them is babies, man. We all got little cousins, little nieces, little nephews. What if you caught somebody doing that to them? And you have to know that. Because what you done did gave them a justifiable reason to why they could give you 30 years. They gave them 27, but they could have went for life. It has to be attached to your face as the guy that was going after kids, putting them on drugs, whatever it was, manipulating them. We can't move like that out here, bro. That is not what somebody supposed to be doing. You got to think now these kids are going to be traumatized for life. And the cycle continues. They say his family was going through a lot of prison time early on, so he didn't really have the guidance in this situation, and his father said this in the write-up. Jackson's father says he now won't see his son for nearly 30 years. It's very emotional because I don't visit jails because I've been there too many times, he said. I mean, we've all come from difficult childhoods, Corey noted. You can't use that as an excuse. You don't mess with children, period. You don't sell children. I just want to say to the family, my heart goes out to you, Mr. Jackson said. Me and my wife, we pray for you guys. We wish your daughter will come back to you. I thank God my son didn't get life, and I hope he grows from this. According to the prosecutor, even while in the Harris County Jail, Jackson smuggled in drugs and cell phones and continued trafficking women while incarcerated. Arion Jackson's mother is also charged with sex trafficking. Her trial begins Wednesday. And as I said before, bro, this is what they gonna have on your name and your family now. This ain't how you want your legacy to be, bro. I guarantee once you get in there, you get settled in, you gonna be like, bro, it was not worth it. And then I done damaged other people's life too. You don't want them demons on you, man. Take your time, process, stay out the way. Things like this is unacceptable, bro. 1,000 for shit, so stay on your pivot. Prayers up to everybody, man. More coming.